Welcome back everyone. Here we are at the final for the uh, 2014 Halloween special, uh, the Dark Shadows Werewolf. Uh, it took me, took me a little while, I went past the deadline of Halloween to get it done, but you know, not by too much anyway. Um, I gotta say, overall, uh, I'm happy with the outcome of the kit. Uh, I had an idea going into it that it was going to be kind of a, a little bit of a rough build uh, because the molds are so old. These are, while it's a repop, it is uh, the original molds. So it took a little work. Um, and it's not quite like this either. But uh, here we are. There we are with the werewolf. Um, <laughs> uh, it came out better than I had expected it to, um, but then again, there's some things I'm not crazy about, but it's his, his body posture, I think, um, I'm not happy with, he's, as you can see, he's kind of tilting forward as opposed to either being straight up or backwards, like on a box art, um, so kind of. His angles kind of hide his face and all, so not really thrilled about that too much. But overall, this is what he looks like. Um, the base was the last thing that had to go. Um, I ended up spraying the base, in, the entire base, in black, flat black, and then using three or four various grays that I had I dry brushed starting with the darkest and I just dry brushed roughly across the whole thing uh, and each time I used a lighter and lighter gray uh, until I came up with the look and then uh, it's probably kinda of hard to tell but from the bottom here up I started I made some took some colors I took um, evergreen some black and back to the um, what was this one again what was this one lime green placid green what the hell was this called fresh cut grass sorry um, mix that up into a mixture and I uh, coated the wall to make it look a little mossy uh, mildewy and stuff like that give it that old look um, let's see what else did I do uh, a lot of pastels were done on his pants um, dirty spots on the knees dirty on the legs um, here uh, pastel dust was used to go into uh, his feet here um, it gave a third basically it gave it a third color on the, the highlights of his feet and blended the skin piece that you know where the hair and the skin meet uh, I thought blended it a lot better um, same with his hands um, you know the, the pastel dust and everything then I gave him a new manicure with future to make his his uh, his nails uh, stick out a little bit more um, and then as I was talking earlier, his face and his head was really glossy, and that was my fault. Well, not really my fault, but it was part of the plan was to make it glossy before I moved forward to the next step of the, the, the coloring process and everything. Um, in case I made a mistake, I can wipe it off and stuff like that. Um, but then when I tried to um, tone it down, it didn't really work too well. So it still stayed shiny. So what was suggested by a couple of people was that I use, again, the pastel dust to, to redo his hair again. And it toned it down a little bit. It's got a little sheen to it, but that's okay. Um, otherwise, um, you know, you're getting a lot of reflection due to the lights. But in, in, you know, outside of the camera, it really doesn't look that bad at all. Um, I have to admit I'm kind of happy with his look uh, his face is still a little shiny I think the skin I might have to tone that down a little bit but for the most part uh, he's pretty good where he is 
and uh, let's see uh, the other thing in the base you know I had the bat put him on a wire uh, just a little character to the to the thing uh, it came with a rat which I he's switched around but um I took the rat put him in the tree hole uh, just to give him something you can say he's a squirrel I don't care but you know, just a little detail something to look at and if you look just past this hip over here if I go through here and out here you'll see there's the black spider again they came with the kit so I decided to implement them into the base nothing spectacular just a little goofiness and a little bit of fun um, yeah that's really about it he's done um, I'm pretty satisfied with them so uh, that's it I'm ready to take on the new Batman no, just kidding nowhere near ready for that but um, I thought it looks pretty good so uh, moving along right anyway that's it guys till next time be strong